Welcome to Veterans Memorial Stadium, folks. Charles Henderson is hosting Williamson here tonight in a 5A first-round playoffs. Wally, the captains for the Trojans tonight, number eight, Damian Hart, number four, Zach Coleman, number 54, Zamir Caffey, and number 77, Sterling Sharp, and honorary captain, number 10, Demario Harris. Wally, what are your keys for the game tonight? Tell me what you got on your mind, partner. Neil, I thought about this all week. All week, my friend. The keys of the game is have limited penalties. We've been a heavy penalty team this year. If we keep that to a minimum, we're going to win this game. I mean, I, I really believe we're going to win this game tonight. Well, you, you're right about that. We have been heavily penalized. Williamson has won the toss, and they have deferred. Williamson has won the toss and deferred. Charles Harrison will be on offense first. And uh, so we'll get to see the Charles Harrison offense first. Parker Adams and crew will be on the field. Well, Neil, you asked me about um, my keys to the game. Well, what are yours, brother? Well, I'm going to tell you what. I, I hate to piggyback off what you said, but we must, must, we have got to curb the amount of yellow flags that have been hitting the field the last half of this season, Wally. That's goal number one, is not to be penalized as much as we have the last half of this season. And as always, to win the turnover battle. Yeah. And Neil, what I was going to tell you and the viewing audience, uh, this is the region championship which Charles Henderson won is playing a four seed out of Mobile, which is Williamson. And let me tell you, Williamson could very well be a one seed down there. You look at who they played, and they all lost by either one touchdown. Incredible. Yeah, it's uh, the area they're coming out of is a tough area, no doubt about it, Wally. They're coming out of that Mobile area down there and uh, making the playoffs down in the Mobile area is a big deal. Exactly. So up here. You can sneak in as a four seed, and you may not be a big deal, but down there to get to four seed is a big deal. And they got by the four seed by by losing the UMS right, eight to 17. And here comes the Trojans. Here comes the Trojans. And they also lost to Faith, 26 to zero. Trojans in their all Navy with orange numbers and white helmets. Williamson in their all white with yellow socks and black helmets. And we are close to getting this first round action underway here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. I want to thank All Star Collision, along with Troy Cable and Ceasefire, for making this happen here tonight. Oh, yeah, without those sponsors, we could not do this. Well, they are my favorite saying of all time is the popcorns are popping, the cheerleaders are cheering, and the, the bands, bands what? The playing. Bands play. Friday night, hey, playoff. Atmosphere. At first time in a long time, the Charles Harrison Trojans have hosted a playoff game here at Bears Memorial Stadium. And uh, the Trojans will get it on offense first. And right out the bat, Wally, I'd like to see number 21, Terrence Thomas, or uh, number, number, number three, Stefan Mosley, get a big return here out of the kicking game. Yeah, or they'll. Number two, Jawan Boyd as well. Mario Davenport standing on the 29-yard line. He could make a big return as well. I don't think they're lining up very deep, Wally. They've scouted the kicking game, and they must not kick it very deep. Must not. Well, let me tell you, Neil, we talked about this before the game started. Williamson is just loaded, and I mean loaded with old talent. Yeah. Jamarcus Russell, which you said is the offensive coordinator. He is. Oh, my goodness. He's Nick Farley. I mean, they've, they've got more NFL players that come from this school than any other school in the state of Alabama. Yep. Terrence Thomas, the uh, sophomore, I mean, the freshman. And, uh, He's a, he's a sophomore. Terrence Thomas is a sophomore. Job one boy. Uh, back deep for the Trojans. We are close to action here on Friday night in Troy, Alabama. Beautiful, cool evening. Perfect fall weather for football. What I call a pooch kick. Thomas has it. Straight ahead. He makes one or two miss. And he's ahead to about the 34, 35-yard line. Wally, Boyd wanted that. Yeah. But Thomas cut him off and said, let me in on the action, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> yeah. First and 10, Parker Adams and crew. Zach Coleman running back. 
I see number six on the field, Zion Grady at the left tight end position. Zion Grady's in at the left tight end position, Wally. Hadn't a seen that a, all year. Bit of a heavy formation, let's call it right here. This is Coleman around the left end. He's running, and he oh, is man. clobbered, and I mean clobbered, with no gain right at the 35-yard line. I think we just might have missed a block there, Neil. Yep. Second and 10. Coleman took the handoff from Parker Adams, and before he could – Pick his lane, got what we call decleated. Decleater, yeah. Second and 10 Trojans. Adams fakes it. Quick slant. He's got his guy right. And this is Khalil Carson, number 11, with just a quick hitch turnaround for four yards. But Carson gets seven after the catch, and that's yeah. enough for a first down. Yeah, enough for Trojans first down. move the chains after a no gain on the first down run. They hit. Uh, Khalil Carson, number 11, on a quick turnaround in the slot right there, and he had this Trojan first down up near the 49-yard line. Adams fakes it, looks, little RPO action. Hits his guy in the in three yards on the little RPO bubble, the little RPO little bubble, bubble on yeah. the left. That's a Boyd, Boyd number two, uh, number three. Number three, Mosley. They, folks, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, these – Two and three look exactly the same to me down there. These these blue jerseys. I'm gonna have to have a lot of help here tonight. 10-35 left. Trojans now in Williamson territory. Second and seven. Zach Coleman off the right hip. Parker Adams fakes it to Coleman. Adams looking out to the right. Throws it. Oh, and he's open. He's got Carson, Khalil Carson at the 25-yard line, and he's down to the 20. And uh, Parker had to make one read, Wally. He had two Trojans fl flooding the right flats and the right, the right side of the field. He had to read either short or deep. He read it perfectly. They had the short guy covered. He threw it over their heads to Khalil Carson. Perfectly played by Parker Adams right there. First down Trojans. Well, so far, Neil Parker's three for three. Adams, tall sweep. This is Coleman. He picks his lane, runs it forward, breaks one tackle. He nice. breaks two tackles. He's going for first down yardage at about the 10 yard line. And if that ball touches the 10 yard line mark, it's going to be first down. Well, hey, hats off to the offensive lineman on that particular play. They just came off and knocked some head up, buddy. Yep. It is. It is first down, and that'll be first and goal. Now, that's as far as you can be away from the goal line on first and goal. Yeah. First and a full 10 yards, but first and goal for the Trojans. Zach Coleman remains in the game at tailback. He's going to get it. He dances one way, and a flag is on the ground. Coleman makes two guys miss, three guys miss. He's down around the six-yard line just making people miss right in the hole. But there is a uh, yellow flag on the ground right in the middle of the action, which normally leads toward holding. Let's see. Yeah, we hope not. It is holding against the Trojans. And uh, that'll make it a uh, first and goal from somewhere around the 20. Somewhere around the 20, they'll replay first down. And uh, we didn't get too far into the game before the old bugaboos bit, yeah. us, bit us once. Let's hope it's not a, a ramp at this game. 9-25 first quarter. First drive of the game. Well, I think we might have got them on that one. I hope so. They're pointing at us. Let's see which way they call it. Dead ball. False start on the Trojans. Back-to-back -back penalties on the Trojans. And... Uh, you know, we said in our pregame that the Trojans had to, had to, had to clean up their penalty act, and uh, it's not starting out nicely. Yeah. Let's hope they get it corrected quick. That's right. I hope, Neil. First and goal from the 25-yard line for the Trojans. A little slot pass. This is Will Templin in the slot. About seven yards on the reception from Parker Adams, and Adams is yet to miss. He is. Templin on just a little turnaround seven yarder right there. Second and goal from the 18 yard line. Again, we want to thank All Star Collision, C Spire, and Troy Cable for allowing 
the all the Alabama High School Athletic Association game to be filmed here tonight. 8.35 left, first quarter, no score. This is the initial drive of the game. Parker looks, rolls to his right, still looking, still looking, throws it down there, incomplete, right around the pylon in yeah. the goal line. And uh, this is Khalil Carson. He got a hand on it, but he was out of bounds. Another flag in the middle of the field. Let's see what this is. Incomplete on the pass, but the flag is out. Ineligible man downfield for the Trojans. And, uh, you know, Parker ran that a long ways to the right. So, you know, the Trojan offensive line might have thought, hey, he's fixing to run this. Yeah. But uh, – Penalties galore so far. Let's hope let's hope we can uh, clean it up in this game. 8.25 left first quarter. They will replay second down. Williamson took that penalty. Second and goal from the 23-yard line. Coleman in motion out here. This is a backwards pass, but he will run it. And he makes one guy and almost gets to the 20, maybe two, maybe two and a half yards on the little – Swing pass around the right side. Well, that's a backwards pass. I'm glad it was a safe play, but I'm glad he secured it and caught it because it was absolutely backwards. It'll be third and goal <laughs> from the 21-yard line. And that, uh, when you and I were talking to Chuck Ingram uh, this week, he always he told us, you know, a backward pass. Oh, that's not a – That's a th- running play. That's a running play. Yeah. Coleman, the running back, split way to the top of your screen while he looked for a little razzle-dazzle right here. Number four, Zach Coleman at the very top of your screen in the wide out position. Down the middle, this is Templin. Touch, yes, sir. Parker Adams led him perfectly. Will Templin from the slot on the right side just went down the hash, Wally. I mean, down the hash, and Parker hit him in stride, and that was the key because there was two Williamson defenders trailing Will Templin. And if Templin would have had to slow up any, they would have caught up with him or broke up the pass, but Parker led him perfectly. Six nothing Trojans. And how many yards do you think that was, Neil? Let's see. 20, about, 21 yards. About 21. Extra points up. Looks good from here. Yes, sir. Seven to nothing Trojans. Again, we want to thank All Star Collision and Troy Cable and Ceasefire for allowing us to film this first round action in 5 8. We'll be right back. We'll take a break. Back to the action here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. The Trojans take the opening kickoff. Williamson wins the toss and defers. Gives the Trojans the ball first. Trojans did what they needed to do. They drove down the length of the field and scored a touchdown. Nick Pearson misses that one. It's a wedge kick right in the middle. Trojans cover it decently. They're going to get it out to about the 35-yard line. And that's where the Trojans will round him up. But uh, Pearson don't miss many, Wally. Nah, he doesn't. He don't miss many, but that was a line drive shot. And the Trojans got down there and covered it decently. They'll scrimmage from about the 36-yard line. Trojan defense on the field for the first time and the Williamson offense on the field for the first time. Seven to nothing Trojans here early. Seven minutes and 52 seconds left, first quarter. You know, Neil Williamson don't give up a lot of touchdowns throughout the year. Uh, and they don't score a lot either, but nope. they, they stay in these games. Maybe, and maybe just letting the Trojans go straight down the field and score just not just knocked them off their game. Yeah, I hope so, man. So that, that That's a good sign. And for the Trojans to overcome three penalties and still score is a huge effort. Straight ahead running. And he's got a big hole right up the middle. Trojans get him down at about the 40-yard line, and this may be either a face mask or a horse collar one. I think it's a face mask on the Trojans. So. Williamson just runs it right up the middle for 20, 20 plus yards, and there's going to be a tack on 15. So, not a good start right there for the Trojan defense on the first play. Maybe they can dig their heels in right here and get ready to play ball. Face mask is the call, and they'll mark it off against the Trojans. Five yard variety, thank goodness. 35 yard line, first and 10, Williamson. Williamson with three wide and a slot guy. Handed to the running back around the left side. 
This time, nothing doing. Number 45 for the Trojans on, on the uh, spot right there. That's Jalen Suddeth. Also, number six, Zion Grady on the stop as well. Suddeth and Grady. Loss of three. Loss of three on the plate. It'll be second and 13. Second well, and 13. The quarterback for Williamson Lions, uh, number one, his name's Jeremy Williams, and he is a senior this year. Okay. Second and 13 for the Lions. Straight drop for the lefty. He slings it out on a little swing pass, and he's got room out the left side here. Looks like number 16 runs him out of bounds. That's Zach Beatty runs him out of bounds, number 16 for the Trojans. But he got about 10 yards on the play. Let's call it third and two now for the Lions. Nice little lefty swing pass right there. They're going to run all those plays to the left, Wally, because he's left-handed. Yeah. Big big stop right here Charles Henderson's got to have, Neil. Three wide receivers to the top of your screen. Tied in on the left. Motion across the formation. Tied in an ace back on the left. Quarterback keeper, no, it's an RPO, and he throws it out into the flats, and he's got room. Inside the 10-yard line, down near the five for the Trojans before they get him. It'll be first and goal, Lions. Beautiful play there. Great athletic play by the quarterback, Wally. Yeah. He, he could have handed it to the initial running back. Then he could have run it himself, or he could throw it to the H-back on the other side. Beautifully designed play by Jamarcus Russell, the offensive coordinator, and beautifully executed by the Lions on the field. First and goal. Lions looking to answer the bell here as the Trojans drove the ball straight down the field and scored seven to nothing. Charles Henderson, 622 left first quarter. Oh, I believe, I believe a couple of the uh, lines weren't set for a full second right there or two people were in motion. Let's see. Dead ball foul. False start against the Lions. That'll back them up. And that helps the Trojans while he's five yards backwards. Yep. They'll replay first down. It'll be first and goal from the 10. Gives the Trojans a better opportunity for a goal line stand, that's for sure. A little Notre Dame box action. Quarterback keeper. Grady pops him, but he couldn't hold him. Down inside the five. Now they're pushing the pile. It's going to be second and goal from about the four. Yeah. And Zion had him deal and just, yep. just slipped right through the. Second goal from the four. Zion was actively being blocked when he tried to make that tackle. So let's don't let's don't jump on him too much right yeah. now. Yeah. Second goal, little Notre Dame box action right here from the Lions. Quarterback keeper or wildcat, whatever you want to call it. Another flag on the play. Williamson, Williamson scores on the play. But there is a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. Williamson did score on the play. No signal yet. Indica in early indicators is holding against Williamson, but let's get a call. I don't know. I, I missed the signal. He put his hands behind his head, so that's a okay. illegal participation. Yep. There's something. Anyway, touchdown off the board for Williamson. Touchdown off the board, and they'll back them up and replay second down. And uh, with the illegal participation, that'll back them up, and they'll replay second down and give Charles Henderson another shot at uh, goal line stand here to maintain their seven-point lead. 522 left first quarter. Penalty has not been marked off yet. Now it's being marked off. Dead is a dead. He called it a dead ball foul. 
which means they should not even let the play have happened. Yeah, that's and backed up 10 yards. 10 yard penalty on illegal participation from the uh, original spot, which was right around the five. So second and goal from the 15, kind of a la what Charles Anderson did yep. to themselves when they got down on the yeah, goal exactly. line. Exactly. Clock moving, 515 first quarter. He jumped again. Again. Timeout Williamson. Timeout Williamson. Timeout. And uh, we'll take a timeout too, and we'll be right back. Back to the action. Second and goal. Second and goal. After the illegal, illegal participation by the lines. Little handoff off right tackle. Trojans handled that nicely. Yes, sir. And uh, nowhere. Was there a fumble? Was there? I see the line judge has his hand up in the air, and that not a good signal. They're signaling third down is what they're signaling. So no, no fumble on the play. Ball might have came loose, but it may have been afterwards. Then afterwards, it's going to be third and goal from, let's say, the 14-yard uh, line. 440, 440 and counting, first quarter. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Quarterback and an H back off his right hip. Third and goal. Motion from the running back way out to the left. Trojans flank him. We got pressure. They throw it. Oh, almost. Intercepted. Number 27. Zion. Zion. I mean, uh, Zion. Mack. Yeah. Almost got the interception. Unbelievable. Right in the middle. Fourth and goal from the 14. We'll find out right now if they got a field goal unit or not. I didn't see them practicing any field goal kicks, so this is pretty much a fourth down they're going for. Yeah. What you don't want to do right here is get called for pass interference. Just don't get called for pass interference right here and protect the goal line. Fourth and goal from the 14. Trojans lead seven to nothing. Four minutes left first quarter. Both teams have seen the ball one time and both teams have dri driven the length of the field one time. Fourth and goal from the 15 for the Lions. Quarterback looking down the middle. Almost. Almost. But hey, that's a stop, Neil. That is a stop. Incomplete. Yes, sir. And uh, Damien. Damien Hart and Jawan Boyd right there to get a hand on the ball. And the Trojans take over on downs from the 14 yard line. Big play from the Trojan defense, and they got the stop they needed. Uh, Neil, we got a public service announcement. We got the. Uh, Announcement. I tell you what, we'll do it at the next break. I thought we was gonna have time, but I'll do it at the next break. Parker Adams and the Trojans from the 14 yard line, deep in their own territory. Coleman straight ahead, looking off the left tackle. Give him two, maybe two and a half. First quarter winding down here, Wally. Three and a half minutes and the clock is churning. Trojans lead seven to nothing here. Williamson wins the toss, deferred their selection to the second half. Charles Harrison takes the opening kickoff, 65 yards and scores. Second and eight and a half right here, seven and a half. Parker gives it to Coleman, big hole off the Oh yes side. sir, go Coleman baby. Running over people. At about the 10 yard gain, he ran over two Williamson Lions. And that'll be a first down yardage. And Wally, goal number one was to get that ball away from the goal line yes, and sir. flip the field. And the Trojans seem to have done that already. Yes, sir. First and 10 Trojans from the 31 yard line. They moved it, moved it out from, out, out from their goal line. Thank goodness. Two and a half minutes left, first quarter. Adams looking, looking, running it. Shoots it forward to Templin, nowhere to go. Adams would have been better suited just to run that one, Wally. When he, see, when he yeah. sees the film, he'll see. I should have just ran that one for about four or five yards and take a slide. Lost about three yards on yeah. that one. Second and 12, second and 12 Trojans. Thank you. 
second and 12 Trojans. And a la the Selma game, we've got a band that just wants to just blare loudly, and uh, we'll deal with that. Adams rolling to his left. Got an open receiver. Not, not sure who it is on that far left side, but great catch. Going to be just about two, maybe three yards short, short of first down yardage. We'll get you a number on that. Stephon Mosley. Stephon Mosley with the catch. Third and two. Third and two for the Trojans. Antonio Frazier yet to see the field for the Trojans. Number 20, the running back. One minute and 19 seconds left, first quarter. Trojans second time seeing the football here tonight. Coleman makes one guy miss in the backfield. Yes, He's got sir. his first down. Nice little vision right there from Coleman. And he had to make a guy miss. There was a guy on him while he was soon as Parker handed it to him, but he made him miss. Great running. Great running right there from Zach Coleman. Yeah, good blocking by Connor Jones and Benton Dunn just pushing them to get those extra yards. Power formation here from the Trojans, just playing in a box. What do you what do you call it? Playing in a phone booth right here. All 11 Trojans all up next to each other on this particular play. Coleman flares out to the right. This is Carson, number 11, Cleo oh, Carson. Nice. Oh, and he turned around, Neil. For whatever reason, Carson stopped. Unbelievable. For whatever reason, Cleo Carson stops instead of just keeping on running to the sidelines. And uh, give him two yards on the play, Wally. If he just sprints to the sidelines, he gets five. That'll be the last play of the first quarter. Trojans are going to lead after the first quarter seven to nothing. Excuse me, they will snap it with two seconds left and get one more play in. Dude, this is Oh, he's oh, open. Oh, oh my goodness. And Parker just, Parker Adams just off the mark just by a little bit. I mean, if Adams just leads him to the field side just a little bit instead of the sideline side, it is an easy touchdown for the Trojans, but Adams lets it slide towards the sidelines and, and uh, Jawan Boyd just unable to get it in right there as the ball just floated towards the out-of-bounds mark. Nobody was even around him. That would have been an easy touchdown. After one, the Trojans lead here tonight. All-Star Collision, the sponsor for this game, and we appreciate it. Seven to nothing Trojans after one. We'll be right back for the second quarter. Parker Adams, third and eight. This is Coleman, a little draw play. Nice developing play right there. Number four, Zach Coleman takes the draw play. And uh, nice first down yardage across midfield now for the Trojans. And uh, the Trojans are in business again with another first down in Lion territory to start this second quarter. They, again, Trojans lead seven to nothing starting this second quarter. And uh, nice little run right there from Zach Coleman. I like the draw play. That's the first time I've seen it all year. Nice little addition to the package we've been running. Adams on the quick out. This is Carson, number 11. Good catch, but long throw from the middle of the field. Good for two yards. That's a dangerous, dangerous throw for two, two and a half. Two and a half yards right there on a long out play. That's a need to be careful with that one. Just keep keep your eye on that. Yeah. Second and seven, full seven. This is Khalil Carson again. He hits the sidelines, steps out early. Again, I'm nitpicking here, but if he turns that in, if he turns that in, he's probably down around the 25 yard line. Instead, he steps out at the uh, 32. And it'll yep. be third and one. Third and one. Again, number 20, Antonio Frazier, yet to see the field for the Trojans. Zach Coleman has gone the distance, and this will be Zach Coleman on this play. Big hole up the middle. Yes, Coleman's sir. got a first down. Inside the 25-yard line, down to the 24. 10 minutes and 50 seconds in the second quarter. The Trojans are cooking with grease, baby. First down. 
First and 10 Trojans from the 29 yard line of the Lions. Three wide, three wide to the top of your screen. Will Templin on the tight end on the left. Zach Coleman, number four, off the left hip of Parker Adams. First down Trojans. This is Coleman on the sweep play around the right side. And he oh, makes, he still got moved. And Hall, it's going to be a flag. Uh, did I the ball come out, guys? Yeah, the ball it came did. out. It'll be a, be a fumble on the right side. Williamson has recovered it. But there is a flag out on around the uh, – around the 25 yard line. Let's see if we might get a face mask or some type of, no, it's a holding, it's the Trojans. And it'll be declined. And uh, Zach has had the fumbles early in the season. He had the fumbles, yep. but he seemed to have it corrected. Uh, but he puts it on the carpet right there and Williamson gets it. First and 10 lines after the turnover from number four, Zach Coleman. 10-38, second quarter. Trojans lead seven to nothing. First and 10 lines from the from their own 22 after the turnover. This will be the Lions second possession of the night. Second possession of the night for the Lions. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen, one to the top. They fake it. Lefty throws it out. Oh, oh what yes, a sir. Great play. Give me a number, guys. Is this guy running right here? Number 20, 22. Number 22, this is Fag, Sa Saquon Fag with the tackle. And I mean, he played that perfectly. That guy was doing his best to block him. He, he shakes him loose and makes the tackle. Just a perfect play from Saquon Fag, number 22. Five yard loss on the play. Second and 15. You want to help me? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to do stats and everything. So I'm trying to see. Yeah. Second and 15 for the Trojans. Here it comes. Straight drop. Oh, oh there's it. In the air. Yes, sir. Intercepted. Zion. This is a. Uh, oh, 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 no. oh man, it's yeah. It was backwards, though. It was. Damian Hart catches the tip pass on the interception, but as he's running around the right side, he throws it forward to a Trojan teammate, Mario Davenport, and you can't throw it forward. You have to throw it backwards, and Damian Hart has thrown the ball forward. That'll be a penalty, but after the turnover is the key right here. The Trojans will retain possession of the ball. Damian Hart threw it forward, and that's a penalty, but it was after the turnover. The Trojans will have possession. So that equals it up one-to-one, -one, Neil. It They've does. had a turnover. It We've does. had a turnover. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Well, and Trojans need to take advantage of this, and they're going to mark off the penalty, but still, Trojans are going to be in great, great position on the field to score. And that would be an illegal forward pass, I would assume. An illegal forward pass <laughs> by number eight, Damian Hart. Well, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen one of them. <laughs> Just a, uh, what do you call it, a, a brain fart? Yeah. <laughs> I honestly thought he threw it backwards, but no, nah, I saw it from here. It's clearly, clearly, clearly forward. First and 10 Trojans from the 13 yard line. Parker looking in the slot. This is Khalil Carson, number 11. He's got it down near the five. That's an eight and a half yard gain. Parker Adams to number 11, Khalil Carson. Seven nothing Trojans, 9-20 second quarter. I tell you, Neil, Carson's been the target tonight. Hadn't seen that a lot this year. That's right. They must, uh, you know they're going to cover Boyd. They got their best guy on Boyd, that's for sure. So Carson got, getting a lot of targets. You're exactly right, Wally. Second and two. Second and two. Or a very long one for the Trojans. Adams looking to the end zone. He's going to run it. He's pushing. And uh, come on, guys. When you see him pushing like that, give him a help. Yeah, get behind got, him and get push. behind him, yeah. Get behind that gravy train, Neil. No gain on the play. Third and one and a half. Yeah, there was a couple of linemen just uh, watching Parker push right there, and they could have helped push. 
maybe a loss of a half yard on the play. You know, back when you and I played, that would have been a penalty. Illegal. Can't you can't couldn't, you do. couldn't push back then. That's right. I think we could have probably won some more games if we. Zach oh, Coleman, no. big loss on the play, and yeah, that's a blitz, run blitz by Williamson right there. Trojans did not pick up the run blitz, and uh, we're looking at Nick Pearson time right here. Yeah, and these playoff games, man, points, points, points. Oh, you got no to have doubt, them. No doubt. Eight minutes left, second quarter. Nick Pearson coming in the game to try to field goal for the Trojans. Well, looking at a 28-yarder right in the middle of the field, 28-yarder. Parker Adams with the hold. Kick is up. Is it? it yes, is sir. It. 10 to nothing, Charles Henderson. 7.35 left, second quarter. Flag on the field. Flag on the field. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Oh. That'll be a first down. That'll be an automatic first down. There's a, there's a select few automatic first down penalties, Wally, and that's one of them. That's one of them. Roughing the holder and roughing the kicker. Trojan offense will be back on the field. First and goal, Trojans. Now, I got an admit now. Go ahead. He should win a Grammy Award for <laughs> what he just did, but I appreciate it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay to act that's every right, now and then. Right. First and goal, Charles Anderson from the five after the rough and the kicker. Automatic first down. Parker Adams looking to the left, throws it to the corner. Boyd. Oh, he got it. Oh, Out no. Out of bounds. Jawan Boyd unable to get his feet down in the left corner. Incomplete. Great catch by number two, Jawan Boyd, but just couldn't quite get his feet down. Second and goal from the five. It looked close, but our spotter, Derek, is saying he was probably about six inches out. I thought he, uh, I thought his feet tapped out of bounds myself. Second and goal right here. Fellas, we got to score right here. Coleman. No, Parker Adams. Oh, look at Parker down there. Yes, sir. Touchdown, Parker Adams, a five-yard scamper. He faked it to Zach Coleman. Wally, it was a read play. And Parker made a great read by not handing the ball to number four, Zach Coleman, and keeping it around the right side and just outrunning everybody to the goal line. And he met a line defender right at the goal line and was able to power it right on in the end zone. 13 to nothing Trojans with the extra point pending. Sweet, baby. Nick Pearson in for the uh, 20 yard extra point. Hayden Bush, long snapper. Oh, they block it. They block it. The point is no good. It came right up the middle and blocked it. 13 to nothing, Trojans. And in the all star collision game of the week. Charles Henderson Trojans lead the Williamson Lions 13 to nothing with 7.18 left second quarter. We'll be right back for the kickoff. Hey, while we got a quick second here on this kickoff. <laughs> Admission to an interscholastic event and privilege. And with that privilege comes responsibility. Responsibility to conduct oneself in a manner where the game is enjoyable for other fans and participants, Charles Henderson High School reminds you to a sport of winning attitude and the Alabama Athletic Association on the field and in the stands. Thank you, Wally. And uh, we're supposed to read that, and we got it under our belt now. We got it under our belt, yeah. Nick Pearson boomed it through the end zone while you were reading that public service announcement, <laughs> Wally, and the Lions will get it at their 20-yard line. I mean, that one was six yards deep in the red carpet. 7-18, second quarter. Trojans lead 13 to nothing. A couple of turnovers for each side. Nice play right there by Damian Hart off the middle. Yeah, yeah. Damian and Mac, yeah. Neil, speaking of Damian and stuff, uh, looking at all our old statistics and stuff, right now, Damian Hart, his career at Charles Henderson High School, he has 225 tackles, and he is third all ranked. And let me tell you, Parker Adams is 
was third up until the last couple passes. Now he's the number two all-time passer at nice Charles Henderson High School. Behind his, his cousin, Austin? Yep. Um, Austin Ingram? Actually, uh, while we got to say, Austin Ingram, he has 6,730 yards. Noah Lowry had 3,554. And Parker, 3,516. And now he's jumped Noah. Gotcha. So, and then Jared Lawson is number four on the list. Third and seven here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Pretty nice stats right there. Quarterback stats, Wally, that's pretty neat. Trojans lead 13 to nothing here. Grady with a rush. Quarterback keeps it up the middle. Trojans hit him. He's going to be short of the first down yardage, but just barely. Just barely. Let's see if they roll the dice and go for this, or do they play it close to their chest and punt it away. Fourth and a full one. Fourth and a full one. Yeah, another good tackle by Damian Hart. Um. Quarter, the helmet's off for number one, so he's got to sit out of play. That, yeah. might, that may help in his decision on punting. Well, I tell you, now, if I'm, if I'm the coach down there, knowing the, the firepower Charles Henderson's have, I'd kick this thing. Because if I goof up, Neil, and give Charles Henderson that, get a field position. They are not punting. They are not punting. Fourth and one from their own 29-yard line. We need a Trojan to shoot the gap right here. I'm gonna run the right side. Oh, Trojan we got it. him! Yes, and sir. They stop him on fourth and yes, one. Yes, sir. Big play, number eight, Damon. Penalty on the field. Penalty on the field. It'll be a dead ball penalty after the play. Dead ball penalty after the play. Damian Hart and number 27 also. In on the play, number number 27 is uh, Zarian Mack helping uh, Damian Hart right there. Big stop around the side right there for the Trojans. Now let's see about this dead ball penalty. Personal foul against the Trojans. Personal foul against the Lions. Those are offset. So over on downs, and Charles Henderson will get the ball first and 10. Again, we want to thank All-Star Collision for making this film telecast that you're watching on Troy Cable this morning, this Saturday morning, or replay this in the middle of the week, whichever you're watching. All-Star Collision, C Spire and Troy Cable made this happen, folks, and we really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we do appreciate it. Parker Adams and crew takes over at the 28-yard line. Twice the Trojans have stopped the lines on downs tonight, Wally. Adams with a hard count. Looks like he has pulled the uh, lines offside, so that'll be a free five for the Trojans. Neil, I wanted to give an all-star collision penalty box update Get in the me, second baby. quarter. So far, Charles Henderson has been flagged six times, and Williamson's been flagged four times. Gotcha. First and five after the five-yard mark off. Adams rolling to his left, stops, turns, pumps, throws it to the end zone, underthrown, but... Oh, yes, sir. Jawan Boyd, number two, with the catch. And uh, didn't matter where he threw it right there. Parker Adams from 28 yards out hits a strike to number two, Jawan Boyd. 20, uh, I'm sorry, 19 to nothing. Charles Henderson, extra point pending. Neil, how many yards you say? That was 28 yards. 28-yard touchdown strike. Pearson in for the extra point. Adams to hold. Mr. Hayden Bush is snapping. It's up. This time he gets it up. It's good. With five minutes and 15 seconds left, Charles Henderson 20, Williamson nothing. We'll be right back for the kickoff, folks. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Another big, oh, and he bobbled it. Trojans having to cover the kick. Runs into his own man. Flag yeah, on the field. Gonna be a flag, like yeah. Neil, that's probably going to be a block in the back. I didn't see it, Wally, but I'll take your word for it. But it's right in the vicinity. Let's see. Either holding or blocking in the yeah. back, probably. 20 to nothing, Charles Henderson. Five minutes left, second quarter. Charles Henderson has kicked off. There's a Williamson player down at about the 34-yard line. Let's hope he's okay. 
Wally, while the player is injured, I just want to take a second and thank our yearly sponsors. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Our yearly sponsors. And uh, the, the, it will be a holding against Williamson, by the way. The Witherton Insurance Group, Torback and Trust, Bill Jackson Auto, Mr. Colin McCreary, the Crease Agency, Birds Drugs, Wise Office Supply, Jones Medical Supply, Half Shell Orchard Bar and Grill, the Alabama Real Estate Connection, Mike Shelton State Farm Insurance, Garrett Enterprises, Earth Movie, Max Hughes Trucking, Marco's Pizza, Preston Steakhouse, Hooks Barbecue, All Star Collision, who is this is the All Star Collision game of the week right here. Bryant Smith State Farm Insurance, Julia's Restaurant, Road Mart, Hastings Shipment and Wiggins, and Earl's Glass. We appreciate you tuning in though to this All Star Collision game of the week. Charles Henderson is hosting the Williamson Lions out of the Mobile area. Wally, we lead 20 to nothing. Yeah, and we're keeping a close eye on that Selma Tallahassee game. I know this is tape delayed, but Tallahassee's beating Selma 14 to 8 right now. All right. And that means we would travel next week yeah, if we would. Yeah, win. yeah. Up the middle run. Flag Another on the play. flag. And uh, when Damian Hart comes up all pumping muscles, you can bet your bottom dollar he was in on the tackle. But Damian, so I give credit for credit due. He is having the night of his life tonight, buddy. He is. Besides the illegal forward pass, you know. But yeah, He just got excited on that one. <laughs> Ugh. Face mask the call against Charles Henderson. It's just a five-yarder, though, but it will give a first down to the Williamson Lions, and they move it out to their own 27-yard line. Five minutes left. Five minutes left, second quarter. Boy, well, I'd love to keep that goose egg on the board going into You're the locker room. You're not kidding, man. That, that, that's a statement, Neil. That, that first and second quarter shutout would be huge right here, defense. First and 10 lines. Running off the left side. Trojans bottle it up pretty good right there. Hart again, number eight. Eight. In on the stop. Hart read his keys really well right there. Bunch of the linemen went one way and a few went the other, and Hart stayed right there with him. Nice job, Damian Hart. Four and a half. Four and a half minutes before the half. 20 to nothing Trojans. Neil, we're so popular. I'm just getting text after text. They wish they were watching this live, man. They want to know the updates. I've been so. getting them all day long. Man, Why aren't that's going good. Live? Why but, aren't y'all going live? But, man, we sure appreciate everybody liking what Neil and I do. We have a good time yeah, doing we it. we do. Second and eight. Quarterback draw, and he's got Ooh. a few yards right up the middle. But the Trojans stop him right there. And a little extracurricular going yeah. on in the middle. Let's keep our heads, guys. Let's keep our heads. Another tackle by Damian Hart. I don't see any flags, so we're okay. Three minutes and 45 seconds. Clock is moving. Clock is moving. Coming down upon the halftime, folks. 20 to nothing Trojans. Third and four lines. Wally, I like to see that clock turn right here. I yes, want, sir. I want Williamson to run out of time and not be able to score. Third and four. Big play for Williamson. Clock down to seven. The lefty's looking. Trojans pressure. Oh, they and they get him. Not a sack, but they got enough. Got him again. And another flag on the play. This, this one comes from the umpire. Number 45 on the play. This is Jalen Suddeth with the tackle. Let's see what this penalty is. The penalty stops the clock with 259. 259 left in the half. Personal foul, face mask against the Trojans. Man, we just can't. That'll be 15 yards and plenty enough yards for the first down right there. It'll move the ball up to the Williamson 49-yard line. Two minutes and 59 seconds left. The Trojans need to hold them out right here. Neil, shoot that, yourself in the foot right there. Neil, that's four face masks we've had tonight. Yeah. Trojans, the Williamson was about to have to punt it away. But the Trojans shoot themselves in the foot with a face mask penalty, and now they're going to have to stop them again with two 255 left first uh, second quarter before the half. The lefty looks to the left. Throws it deep. Oh, and he's open. They got a guy. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Touchdown, Williamson. And a, just like that, just like that, 
you get you start getting penalties and giving them first downs, penalties and first downs, you you just breathe life into them, and they strike from 51 yards out. They hit from 51 yards out. Beautiful throw and a beautiful catch from the Williamson Lions. Neil looks like they're just going to go for two. Like I said, I did not see anybody kicking field goals during warm-up. 20 to 6. They will line up and go for two. You're exactly right, Wally. Trojans need to stand strong here. This is a big extra point. Zion Grady whiffs at him. He's in. Yeah. Zion Grady just didn't try. He just, I don't know, he's, he's limping. He's limping profusely, but Grady had him in the backfield, but yeah. didn't hit him. Didn't hit him. Mm. Two-point conversion is good. Eight, 20 to eight is your score. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Hey. Didn't had him down. He didn't even try. Why is he in there? <laughs> 20 to eight. Uh, <laughs> Frazier is not hurt, but he still hasn't been in the game yet. But he came in on that extra point play. So it's coach's decision. Why? Back to the action here, 20 to eight. Williamson gets on the board on a 51-yard bomb play. And uh, they had us beat by six yards over the free safety in the corner. And, and uh, yeah, hey, you got to pat them on the back where, where you know, hey, they hit it. They yep, hit it, they hit it. In stride. In stride. 50, 51 yards out in stride. That's a difficult play, and they pulled it off. Yeah. They kick it out of bounds here, which is a penalty. It's a procedure penalty against the uh, kicking team. And, Charles Harrison will take it at the 35-yard line, first and 10, 237. Wally, this is the first round of the playoffs. Oh, we're going to make them kick it again. We can we can do that if we want to. Yep. And it looks like Coach Hambright's going to make them re-kick it. Maybe not a bad thing here. Well, let me tell you, two minutes and 37 seconds is yep. a lot of time for Charles Henderson's yep. offense. Yep. On the other hand, Hate to be a Debbie Downer, but you don't <laughs> want to do anything dumb with two minutes left either. Yeah, you that's want, true. You, at, at the worst, you want to go in with a 12-point lead, right? Exactly. And I think with the firepower we have, we might get down close enough for a Nick Pearson field and, and Absolutely. Absolutely. 20 to 8. Two minutes and 37 seconds left before the half. Williamson getting ready to re-kick after they kick it out of bounds. This one's right down the middle, a little pooch. This is uh, Boyd, and he is up near the 41-yard line. So, on the re-kick, we got a uh, net of six yards out of the re-kick. So, not a bad decision nah. by Coach Hambright. Every little yard helps. Every, right. And you get a chance for Boyd to get the ball in his hands one more time, which is always exciting. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Parker Adams and crew from their own 41-yard line. Wally, I'm going to say they got to get 10, 20, 30, 40, about 42 for 45 yards to be in Pearson territory. Frazier's in the game oh, and was... incomplete pass to start. Antonio Frazier's first play from scrimmage. He's been in on an extra point, but uh, Adams unable to make uh, the connection with him on the swing pass to the right side, incomplete. But Neil Parker so far. And clock is running, folks, on an incomplete pass. I don't know if Ham I don't know if Hambright sees it. I don't know if the officials see it. Nobody sees it. The clock has run continuously after somebody just saw it. The back judge finally saw it. The back judge finally saw it, and uh, the Trojans lost a good 12 to 14 seconds. Uh, they did not stop the clock after the incomplete pass. And let's see how the officials handle this. Yeah. 12 for 16 and for they, Parker they so far. They put it to uh, 215. I'm sorry, Wally. Uh 12 for 16 Parker passing tonight, which is okay. pretty good. That's yeah. a good average. Yeah. He can add to it right here with two minutes and 15 seconds left. You know, we have not called one guy's name out tonight, Stephon Mosley. He's yep. normally our yep. big number two guy, but. Number 20. Straight ahead. This is Antonio Frazier, the 10th grader. 
finally getting some action in the backfield. Coleman's been so good. Yeah. I mean, he's just uh, finally, finally giving Coleman a breather. Under two minutes now. Under two minutes. Trojans lead 20 to 8. Adams looking. Rolling around All to the his time right in the world. Interception. And exactly what I was saying you didn't want to do is mess around and uh, give them an opportunity to score twice within two minutes, and that's what they got now. Yep. Flag on the field right in the middle of the field. It'll be holding against Charles Henderson. Williamson would decline this and take and take the uh, – Take the uh, interception, and they'll have it. They'll have it uh, right there, first and ten. Twenty-seven for Williamson on the track. Williamson gets the ball back. One thirty-five. One thirty-five on the clock. One thirty-five. You roll the dice. Sometimes it comes up snake eyes. It does, dude. First and 10 from the Trojan, 46. The lefty looks. Here comes. Oh, that's a holding. There's a flag in the middle. Looks like holding as uh, the quarterback scampers around the right side. Another penalty on the sidelines. Another penalty on the sidelines. This may be offsetting as it looks like a couple of the Trojans got tied up. Got tied up over there, and uh, another flag on the sidelines. We'll see how they call it. Let's see what happens. Quarterback just uh, couldn't see anybody open and just took off running around the left. And with a minute 29. Got holding, and then you got a dead, dead ball. After the play. Personal foul. Personal oh. foul against the uh, – Ooh, that's Williams a double tonight. whammy. And uh, – you, you you said it exactly right, Wally. It is very, very rare that you mark off two penalties against the same team, except for a dead ball and a live ball. You got to mark them both off. Yeah, now you're going to be. You're looking at a 25-yard penalty, folks. Yeah, first and Sykes and Collins, man. Whew, long ways. 25-yard penalty. You mark off the live ball penalty first, Wally, and that was a spot foul, which was probably seven to eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. And uh, then you mark off the dead ball foul, which was a 15-yard penalty on somebody on the sidelines. Our spotter, Derek Bell, said he saw uh, one of the Trojans get hit out of bounds after the play over there, which was a Charles Henderson defender. Minute 29 left, first and 10, 20, 30, 36, first and 36, Wally. Yep, that's. They run it up the middle, conservative, and uh, rightfully so. You wonder if Coach Hambright start calling timeouts, but I guess not. Number 45 on the tackle. This is uh, Jalen Suddiff on the tackle. Injury on the field. Well, he's got. Uh, he's up. He's up. Thank goodness he's up. Timeout on the field with 116. We'll take a timeout too. We'll be right back. Second and 10, 20, 36. Second and 36 for the Lions after the double penalty infraction on the previous two plays. We need a pick six right here, Neil. That's what the doctors ordered. Yeah, he's trying to run the clock out now. Nothing stupid. Nice play in by that Trojan front. And uh, timeout on the field. Hambright with the timeout. We'll take another timeout with the timeout for this All-Star Collision Game of the Week. We'll be right back. 108 left before the half. Third and 30. Third and 30. Neil, do you wonder if Hambright calls another timeout if we do a stop here? Yeah, you do wonder, but you just don't want to give a pass interference right here. Oh, my goodness. Zion Grady, number six with the sack. Or just not going to be a sack, but a big stop on a running play. Quarterback was going to run that around the left side, and Zion Grady just slams him down for a four-yard loss. Fourth down for Williamson, and I know I know they don't like to punt, 
but they're going to have to punt. This yeah, I, I just don't see. Yeah, another timeout on the field. This will be the final timeout for Coach Hambright and company. We'll take this timeout, too. We'll be right back for this all-star collision game of the week. Fourth and 33. 103 left before the half. Jawan Boyd stands at around the 50-yard line. They kick it way to the right. Lots of Charles Harrison guys around the ball, but luckily none of them get hit by it. Man. And uh, Charles Harrison will get it at the 38-yard line of the Lions. Wally only about a net 12-yard punt. Yeah, well, Neil, the only thing where I'm worried now, hey, we got 54 seconds. We've got a good field position, but no timeouts. That's right. So That's right. we're going to have to use that sideline. Yeah, I see Boyd getting at least one deep shot right here, don't you? Yeah, at least one. 20 to 8 Trojans, 54 seconds left before the half. Parker Adams and Zach Coleman off the left hip. Mosley at the bottom of the left. Here he goes. Number two, Jawan Boyd. He catches it, but he's out of. No, no he caught cut. it. It's going to be first and Wow. Jawan wow. Boyd with a tiptoe catch, and we called it. We called it. We said Jawan Boyd's going to get one deep right here, and they throw it to him. Tiptoe catch right around the three-yard line. First and goal, Charles Henderson. Clock will run once they – Good uh, How many yards that was? Oh, gosh, I don't know, Wally. I don't know. 46 seconds left. And uh, Parker uh, hits Jawan Boyd at the three-yard line. Probably about a 40 yards. 35. Charles Henderson first and goal, 46 seconds. Charles Henderson already leads 20 to 8. Coleman with the ball, off right tackle. He's not going to get anywhere. And the problem with this is the clock's going to run. You got to get up to the you line. You got to get up and spike it. Come on, fellas. Up, you got to get up to the line right here. You don't practice this. The coaching staff for the Trojans is yelling as loud as they can, but, you know, you got to you got to be cognizant. And these are just teenage kids. You know, they, they're not uh, NFL players. 23, 22, 21, 20. Adams. This is Coleman straight ahead. He is not going to get in. You got to spike it right here. You got to spike it. And uh, unbelievable. Seven seconds on the clock. I don't know if it was a fumble, but if it was, it was uh, Zach Coleman's second of the game. And uh, he has been fumble susceptible early in the season. And uh, Coleman puts it on the carpet again. Uh, tonight, that's twice for number four, Zach Coleman putting the ball on the carpet. This one really hurts the Trojans as they were about to score. And uh, Yeah, Neil, we needed that in the seven day. Seven seconds left. <laughs> needed that in the goodie bag because yeah. when halftime's over, Williamson gets the ball again. Yep. <laughs> Williamson comes out in a victory formation. They're just going to run this out and get in the locker room take a knee and that'll be the half Charles Henderson will lead 20 to 8 and uh wow good great Parker Adams throws an interception Zach Coleman puts it on the carpet twice and Williamson is winning the turnover battle Wally they are and, Neil uh, they are winning it buddy but Charles Henderson leads where it counts 20 to 8 on the board We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back. We got a good one going here at Veterans Memorial Stadium here tonight. Charles Henderson hosting Williamson first round 5A playoffs. We'll be back. Coming out of the locker room here at Veterans Memorial Stadium, Charles Henderson leads Williamson 20 to 8. Williamson won the toss and deferred to the second half. So Nick Pearson and company will kick it to the lines. Wally, what went on at halftime, you reckon? Well, Neil, I know one thing. We we talked about this at halftime. We're just a lot better team than they are. Can we execute and do what we got to do? And on, finish, finish it and put them away. And put them away, exactly. That's and right. it's all going to start right here uh, where can Charles Henderson get a three and out and take control of this game. And even, even if not a three and out, maybe a six and out, you know. Yeah. And Pearson nails it through the end zone, by the way. Williamson to start on their 20. Charles Henderson 20, Williamson 8. Starting the third quarter here in this 5A state playoff first round action. 
Quarterback throws it out wide open on the flats. He's got his first down. He's got about 12, 12 yards off the left side. Just a quick pop pass yeah. right there. 12 yard uh, quick. And uh, first down, Williamson coming out of the locker room. Yeah, Quay didn't even have to touch him there. He just ran straight out. Out of bounds. Early third quarter, Williamson with the ball. They trail our Trojans 20 to 8. Trojans have played a really good first half of football. They need to carry it over to the third and fourth quarter. And just keep the hands off the face mask. That's been a yeah, they, three or four, wasn't it? Four face mask penalties yeah. there in the first quarter. Or first half. Straight drop for Williamson throwing it. Underthrown at about the 45 yard line. Number 20, the intended target. Wally, he tried to put a little extra mustard on that one and uh, just uh, threw it in the dirt. He was open momentarily, but he just yeah. not could throw a strike. He just couldn't throw a strike. Second and 10. Looks like Williamson may be looking just to open it up and take their chances in the air a yeah. little bit in this second half. Well, you know, Neil, I noticed, and I didn't say this in the first uh, part of the game, their offensive line is really not all that big. I mean, we match up perfectly yep. with them. Look at you in the same play. little slant. Oh, no. And it was a bullet. I mean, he threw a bullet incomplete on the quick slant, third and 10. That was a run pass option play. He pulls it from the uh, running back and tries to hit the quick slant. And uh, it falls incomplete. Yeah, you know, I mean, Davenport. That was about an 88 mile an hour fastball right there. Yeah, the Davenport was right there on the throw. But again, it was just on too fast. And uh, four wide good. for the Lions here. Third and 10. Early third quarter. And stoppage of play. Usually when they stop it, it's going to be. It's going to be against Charles Henderson. They'll put this on Zion Grady, the end, number six. It'll be a free five yards. Make it third and five instead of third and ten. All time against the Trojans. Five yards early. He's playing third down. Wally, the coaches just needed to tell him at halftime, keep doing what you're doing, don't let up, you know, all that uh, – uh, normal, you know, we're ahead speech stuff and at all, but the but the Trojan players need to come out on the field and do it. Yeah. You know, Coach Scott Graham, who's our defensive coordinator, he's, I, I gave him an A-plus so far tonight calling up some good schemes yeah. on defense. Quick bubble pass out here to the right. Fag makes a good play. He's going to be up near first down. He gets a really good spot first down. Really, really generous spot right there from the wing official. And uh, number 22. I think Fag came off the field limping there. Number 22, Fag, just uh, unable to stop him in his footsteps, let him get four yards after contact right there, and Fag was hurt on the play. Williamson, what looked to be Charles Henderson stopping him, Charles Henderson flag for offsides helped him out right there. Running play right up the middle. Power push by the line. Charles, Charles Henderson had him for about a one-yard gain, but the big line from Williamson pushed him forward for another four or five yards. Do I see another flag on the field? <laughs> Helmets off for number 51. And uh, let's see what the call is. Man. Face mask is the call. The Trojans continue. Trojans continue to just be a very, very heavily penalized football team. Yeah. This started about middle of the season, Wally. I, I would say game four or game five, and it has not let up. Charles Henderson is just a heavily, heavily penalized football team. But they've been able to overcome and win a bunch of games. Yeah, 80 yards right now, Neil, on just penalized. I, I just call them stupid penalties. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't. Yep. I mean, if you want to be a, a great caliber team that wins all the time and stuff, I mean, you just you can't have these flags. Not that many. You're right. You're right. First and 10, Williamson in Trojan territory now. Straight drop. 
Looks to throw deep. Flag in the middle of the field. Probably holding against Williamson. We'll see. He scrambles for five yards on the play. But uh, Zion Grady tangled up with an offensive lineman here. But let's see. Let's sort this flag out. The flag is about six yards deep from where they snapped it. So if it's holding from there, it's going to be a big penalty against Williamson. Yes, it will. That is the call, Wally. That is. Let's hold him. Holding this call. And they'll mark it off. So instead of a five-yard gain on the scramble, it's going to be 10 yards backwards from the spot of the foul. So And actually, that's a 16-yard penalty plus the five that he gains, a 21-yard loss. Well, you know, that's twice has happened to Williamson where they've had some good drives and then they get their self on some bonehead yep. plays yep. and penalties. Yep. And now they're way back. Yep. Back in their, their portion of the field after that big penalty. First and 23. First and 23. That's a quick throw. It's a backwards pass. Oh, so Looking for the double. Oh, Mario's on it. Oh, man, yes. Davenport with the interception just out jumps everybody. He's back across the 50. Wow. And he's tackled at the 45. Penalty on the field. Penalty on the field at the uh, point of the interception. At the point of the interception, there's a penalty on the field. Could this be pass interference? Let's see. Mario Davenport with a big interception. But, Neil, but is it a block in the back after the interception? or uh, The flag is laying right exactly where the interception happened. So we got to sort this out. But, you know, we caught the ball in the air before it even landed. Yeah, I did personally did not see interference, but yeah. I'm just saying that's where the flag is. We got to see what they call here. 20 to 8, the Trojans still lead. 9.48 third quarter. This is the first possession of the third quarter for Williamson. Still no uh, signal from the referee. He's a dead ball dead foul. Ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Charles Henderson. So the play was over with, so the interception stands. The interception stands, but again, the Trojans just continue to be a heavily, heavily penalized football team. I think uh, my spotter is telling me that this was on number two, Jawan Boyd. Yep. And he got a couple of those last week and got ejected. Yep. So uh, Boyd keeping his streak alive on his unsportsman likes. And I heard through the grapevine, I heard through the grapevine that Mr. Boyd was upset with me telling the audience that his unsportsmanlike penalties were selfish. Well, I'm going to call it like I see it again. You have done it again, Mr. Boyd. Your unsportsmanlike penalties are selfish. Selfish oh penalties. Well, baby, we've been flagged 12 times a night for 95 yards. That's right. If that was on Boyd, now my spotter's saying it was on Boyd. I have no idea if it was. First and 10 Trojans after the Mario Davenport interception. I knew when that ball got hung up in the air, I said, where is number seven? He's coming yeah, after it. Davenport sure did it. such a good job. Parker Adams with the read option, read pass option. He hits number 11, Khalil yeah. Cummings, and uh, he's ahead. I'm being – I'm being told on my telephone that the unsportsmanlike was on uh, Damian Hart, number eight. Damian Hart, number eight. So, uh, Mr. Boyd, somebody told me it was you, but I hope it wasn't. If it was either Boyd or Hart, both of them, very selfish penalties, either whoever it was on. Second and seven for the Trojans. Second and seven. Straight ahead. Straight ahead running, first down yardage for the Trojans off right guard. Neil, and you're right, but um, let me tell you, when Frazier gets that ball, it's just up the middle. I mean, he he takes that ball, he goes. There's just no hesitations. What I'm trying, what I've been saying, what I've been saying is, he has no hesitation. He has no hesitation. 8:55 left, third quarter. Trojans lead 20 to eight, and they have the ball at midfield, first and ten. Frazier again, north and south, just quick. Yes. Good for four, four and a half. Yeah, hit, what a what a bonus it has been all year to have Zach Coleman, who is your uh, 
speedster on the corner and tippy toe pick a hole tippy toe slash through that gap and then you got Frazier who is just boom when he gets it he's in there you know two different style runners the Trojans with the, the luxury of having two different style runners exactly hey and speaking of runners Neil who is the all-time Russian leader for Charles Henderson High School just take a guess Sink A. Pennington. He is. Sink A. Pennington, 4,138 yards, man. Yeah. This is a tall sweep. This is number 20. He turns it up. Okay. He, he just goes in there, baby. And uh, flag from the uh, flag from the wing official. And uh, let's sort this flag out. Number 20, Antonio Frazier, puts his foot in the ground, turns it north and south, gets about five. But uh, let's see what the penalty is here. Holding. holding against the Trojans now, uh, blocking the back or holding that those two signals are so similar to the press box. It could have been holding or blocking the back, but I do know this: the flag fell at the feet of Will Templin. I'm not saying it was Will. Yeah. That's just where the flag fell, but it could have been. 8:13 left third quarter. Trojans shooting themselves in the foot here a little bit, just like Williamson did, just like Williamson did. Clock moving, coming around eight minutes, third quarter. Trojans lead 20 to eight. Jai one Boyd, number two in the backfield with Parker Adams. Boyd gets it. Makes one guy miss at the line. Uses his speed oh, to get man, to the outside. Nice. Jai one Boyd inside the 25 yard line gets all the penalty yardage back. First down run for the Trojans, but 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 uh, it's another penalty. Penalty it's, marker on the ground. Hold it. All the right. Trojans. There you go. And uh, my old buddy James Sparrow texted me and telling me, beating a dead horse, beating a dead horse. No, it's what I see. It's what I see. This no. Trojan team is just heavily heavily penalized. Four. Now, they won, won a bunch of games this year, yeah. that's for sure, but still heavily penalized. 14 flags, 115 yards yeah. right now. Mm, mm, mm. The holding nullifies the huge run by Jawan Boyd. Boyd's still in the backfield. First and almost 30. A little draw play. This is Boyd, number two. He hits it up the middle. Takes a big lick right at the 44-yard line, and he doesn't go any further after that lick. Trojans, Neil and I bleed orange and blue like no tomorrow. We love y'all dearly. But when you watch this, and we know all y'all watch our replay, y'all can do better than this, man. <laughs> 14 penalties. Hey, 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 hey. They tried. They're just a heavily penalized football team. That's They uh, dancing with the chick they brought to the dance. Out of the backfield, this is Boyd. Nowhere to go. The uh, I'm going to tell you the Oh, that's a late hit. But the the, uh, the wide the wide receivers on that right side over there, uh, the wide receivers for Charles Henson on that right side just got manhandled by the defensive backs uh, for Williamson on that particular play. Boyd had nowhere to go. Third down and 17. Third and 17. Clock stopped at 6.47 mark of the third quarter. Probably gonna see a Jawan pass right here. Adams on the deep out. Intercepted again at about the 15 yard line. That's as good as a punt. Yeah. yeah. Trojans defense needs to step up right here. Trojans lead 20 to eight. And uh, just penalty after penalty after penalty, it's just hard to score, hard yeah. to score. 641 um, left third quarter. And be honest with you, not a bad interception. I mean, it, like I said, it was third down and long. Uh, I'm your old 50-50 type ball and yeah. stuff. Uh, First and 10, Williamson on the on their own 16-yard line. 
It's a quick pass out there to the right. Same play they opened the half with. Yep. They got two guys out there, we got one. <laughs> Easy 12 yards. It looked like to me, Neil, that number five was kind of holding our guy more than he should have. I mean, maybe if the referee didn't get to see it. But. Run and play right up the gut. Trojans cover it pretty well. Give him three, three and a half, right yeah. up the gut. You know, Williamson, uh, they do, they mix up a lot of stuff. I mean, they either gonna run it, you know, they'll do that little behind the back pass and uh, thrown deep a couple times. And I think we got a timeout on the field. Timeout on the field, injured player injured for Williamson. Player. And this All-Star Collision game of the week, we appreciate All-Star Collision, Troy Cable and C Spire. We'll take a break for this injury and we'll be right back. Second and seven, Williamson. The Williamson player was able to get off the field under his own power. Another little swing play out here to the right. Good yard as he just runs out of bounds after he gets his first down. Well, I thought he had his first down. He's going to be about a yard short. short, maybe. Well, I don't know, Neil. Well, yeah, it looks short I'll to tell me. tell you what, Williamson sure makes those little swing passes look simple, don't they? They sure do. They catch it and just sprint out of bounds. A couple of times the Trojans hadn't even hit them. 20 to eight, the Trojans lead with 546 left third quarter. Yeah, Jeremy Williams, their quarterback, his release is so quick. Tossing it down the right side. Jump ball, incomplete. Incomplete at about the Trojan 35-yard line. This is Mario Davenport, the Saquon Fag on the coverage. Injured player for Williamson, second and 10 for this all-star collision game of the week. We'll be right back after the injury. Wally, the Williamson player, is off the field on his own power, and that's a blessing that to is. see. Second and 10, Williamson. Folks, it's 20 to 8. Charles Harrison with 5.39 left third quarter. Williamson, after the interception, Parker Adams has driven it up to the uh, their own 38-yard line. Second and 10. I think the right guard for Williamson moved, Wally. It's going to be five yards right, backwards. All-star against Williamson. That'll back, that'll back him up five. Yeah, Williamson actually brought a little decent crowd, you know. Yeah, they got a few over there, yeah. From OB. Oh, That's a long ride, Three and a half hours. Second and 15 now. Quarterback, a little RPO action on the right side, and he's got room. Man, boy, we nailed him. Big hit by Jawan Boyd around that other side, and uh, not until he got about 10, 11 yards around that corner, though. Good blocking by the wide receivers for Williamson on that on our defensive backs. You know, third and one. Third and one. You know, Neil, we only played Williamson twice in the history, and they are 2-0 oh on us. 2-0 oh on us. Yeah, Charles Harris has never beat them. Power running formation here for Williamson. Quarterback keeper, Wildcat formation. First down for the Lions. Now in Charles Harrison territory. Coming down around the five minute mark, third quarter. Damian Hart hits him on the ankles and gets him down. It's 
Same play, Wildcat. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. Zion Grady looks to be being held on that other side, and he was. That'll be 10 yards backwards against Williamson. Grady was held. Spot foul, Wally, so 10 yards plus the four yards on the spot is going to be a darn near 15-yard penalty. Well, you know, we've been harping Charles Henderson. They're 14 penalties. Well, Williams is not too far behind them. They've got 11 penalties. Yeah, yeah. Lots of penalties in this football game here tonight. Crew out of Enterprise Association. Slow third quarter after a speedy first and second quarter. 5.03 left third quarter. Looking to throw it deep. Double coverage. Intercepted. Intercepted. Intercepted yes, sir. by the Trojans, and here they come on the return. Oh, and a block in the back. And the Trojans are going to have a block in the back. And Boyd, Boyd's running it, making everybody miss. And he's down at about the 25. Multiple fouls on the return. <laughs> well, this, and the, this uh, crew the, loves the throw. The, uh, the uh, defensive players are just not used to making offensive blocks. They get excited. They don't know what to do. They just want to help their teammate out, and they start hitting folks. Yeah. And uh, most of them are in the back. So this this nice run by Jawan Boyd will be nullified. The Trojans will get the ball after the interception, but it'll be way back in Trojan territory. Yeah. Trojans lead 20 to eight. 440 left third quarter. Wally, they even, they'll penalize from the one that hurts the worst. Yeah. Which will be this one down here at the 42 yard line. Looks like the Trojans are gonna start at their own 35 yard line. Neil, how many, or maybe our spotter, Derek, could tell us how many turnovers we've had tonight Woo. on both squads? I don't know. I, don't know. I know Parker stole two interceptions. 440 left, third quarter. Trojans nursing a 12 point lead. 12 point lead, 20 to 8. Ten. Number 20 on the carry for the Trojans. This is Antonio Frazier. No gain on the play from Frazier. If my calculation's right, it's been four. Four turnovers? Each. Each? Parker's thrown two, and we fumbled two, and they've thrown two and fumbled two. Blitz. Williamson blitz on that play. And yeah. Parker just had to throw it away. Just throw it away, you're right. Williamson's beginning to do a lot of stunt blitz. I've noticed the last couple series in there, maybe their defensive coordinator is seeing something that. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's a, uh, hardly any time has gone off the clock here in the last real 30 minutes. Maybe just two or three minutes have gone off the third quarter. That can only help Williamson. They need to extend this game. Yeah. Nice catch by Stefan Mosley, what a catch. Stefan Mosley, number three, with a catch for the first down yardage for the Trojans, up around a 47 yard line. And also a great throw from Parker Adams. Yeah. I think that band only knows two notes. I'm, not, I'm just not even talking. <laughs> Frazier on the run around the left side, good for two yards. Again, uh, the band from uh, Williamson, just uh, 16, 17 year old kids with uh, looking to have a good time, just 
blowing their horns and beating their drums as loud as they can. I, I think I'd have done the same thing. Would you? You? Yeah, probably. Probably. Well, you remember you used to have your loud stereo yeah, coming I, through the neighborhood exactly, and blaring. Exactly. Waking me up in the middle of the night. Frazier again, off left tackle. Stiff arms one guy. Look at just Not able to stiff, out, stiff arm the second guy, but stiff arms the first guy up near the 45-yard line. It's going to be third and two. Third and two. Again, I can't emphasize no, Frazier, man. He is just a north-south guy. He, he does. He, is. He, get, he gets north and south quick. Not as fast as Coleman. He's not as fast as Coleman. Yeah. Uh, what looks to be a first down run for Frazier, number 20, is going to depend on the spot. It looks like he's got it by the nose of the football. Yeah, it's a They'll first spot down. spot it and take a look. And it is a first down, Trojans. That'll move the chains and move the clock. Well, we hadn't talked a lot about offensive line tonight, but they, they've done a pretty good job giving our running backs and Parker plenty of time to, yep. to do their jobs tonight. So that's right. hats off to them doing a good job. Frazier again straight ahead. Look at that. He gets just – he don't deviate much, does he? He doesn't, buddy. And I think now Neil, Coach Hambry, is just doing all he can just to wear that defense out of Williamson. Two minutes and ten seconds. Clock is now churning like we want it. The clock was not churning there for a long time. But it is churning now. Parker fakes it. It's going into flash to Templin. Templin's got all Templin. types of green grass. He gets hit right at the 27-yard line, and that's as far but as he goes. But that's the first down. Nice though, form tackle right there by the Williamson Lions. But Will Templin with a big first down catch in the right side flats. Yes, sir. Clock, Clock will move as soon as they get the chain set. That's the key, key component right there. Nice throw and catch from Parker Adams to Will Templin in that right flats. I tell you, man, Will's just special in that tight end slot, yeah. man. This is Coleman running to the left. And Coleman unable to get anything going. And let's see what they call here. Coleman has put it on the dirt again. For the third time tonight, Zach Coleman has fumbled the football over to the Lions, and he is down. Overall, it'll be a penalty. Do we have a flag? It'll be a fumble for Coleman, and uh, the ball will go over to the lines. We'll take a break while the Trojans sort out this injury. Zach Coleman, number four, off the field on his own power. I think his pride was hurt because he was upset with himself about fumbling again. He looked to be okay. Yeah, that's he, good. Number four looked to be okay. Minute 37 left, third quarter. Williamson's got the ball back. Power running right up the middle, and they are up around the 45-yard line, and a, a fumble can just breathe life into a team. Yeah, it does. A turnover, a turnover can breathe life into a team. Let's hope that's not the case right here with the, in this game. I mean, we had a long, nice drive, just yeah. pounding, pound, 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 wearing that defense out. Yeah. And then you turn it over, Neil, and then, and that like you said, new life. Yeah, new life. First and 10, Williamson at their own 46-yard line. Four wide on this play. Fifteen seconds on the play clock. Fakes the handoff. Good pressure from the Trojans. Yes, sir. Get him. Zion Grady, number six, and number forty-five for the Trojans. And uh, forty-five, Jalen Sutter. And number six, Zion Grady, and on the big sack for the Trojans. Defense comes up good and healthy right there to get their back to. Man. Their teammate, number four, Zach Coleman, they got his back right there. Yes, sir. I tell you, um, Sudduff, that game against Headland, buddy, he had Woo. the game of his he life. Sure did. Second and 17. Second and 17 for the Lions. Run it right up the middle. Grady hits him, gets him down right after just two or three yard gain. That'll be the last play of the third quarter. Trojans are going to hold on. Nobody scored in the third quarter, Wally. Nobody, Nobody scored in the third quarter. Trojans remain ahead 20-8. to eight. 
after the third quarter. We'll be back for the fourth quarter action, folks. Stay with us on this All-Star Collision game of the week. We want to thank All-Star Collision, C Spire, and Troy Cable for this replay action. We'll be back. All right, let me get you live real quick. Let's see. Let me see. Starting the fourth quarter, Charles Henderson remains ahead by 12, 20 to 8. Williamson with the ball, long third down and 14 right here for Williamson. Straight drop, good protection this time from Williamson. They zing it down. What a strong arm by the quarterback. No way you can cover them that long. Trojans unable to get any pressure on the quarterback, and you just can't cover them that long. No, you can't. Again, hats off to Jeremy Williams, their quarterback. Man, he just throws the snot out of About it, man. About a 30-yard strike right there on third and 14 for a first down for the Lions, and they're in business here. Early fourth quarter, they trail by 12. Trojan defense looked a little tired on that one. Yeah. Handoff left guard, nothing doing. This is uh, 27, Zarion Mack with the stop. Neil looks like another Williamson player down. I tell you, they, they, they're accident prone tonight. You know, and I, I think those guys, I think the Williamson players are coming back in the game, but they're having to stop the game so they can go out for a couple of plays. Yeah. And they're like us, folks, that's watching this on the replay here. Uh, they, a lot of their kids go both ways like yeah. us. Second and eight. Second and eight, Lions. 11 minutes left in the contest, 11 minutes. Williamson trails Charles Henderson by 12. Good running play off right side. First down, Davenport finally corrals him at the 12-yard line. And when your free safety is making tackles down the field, that's not good. That's not good at all, exactly. First and 10 lines at the Trojans' 12-yard line. And that was pretty much, Neil, just a vanilla play. I mean, it wasn't nothing. That was good vision by the running back. The play was designed to go left. He saw the cutback angles were wide open. He cut it back the other way yeah. and, and made it into a right side running play. And that's where he found the green grass, Wally. Power running formation for the Lions on this play. Little wildcat. Little wildcat right here. A la the uh, Selma Saints. Yep. Charles Henderson plays Selma, and that's that's what Selma, that was their whole offense. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to get an ejection in a playoff game. And, uh, good three, four yards on the quarterback keeper. Benton Dunn, 56, checking in on the defensive line. He replaces Grady, who is hobbled with a left ankle. Yeah, he's trying to get off the field. A lot of substitutions on this the one official, play here. Officials stop, stop play. Looks like the officials are sending a Charles Henderson player out for whatever reason. Number 22, Saquon Fag has been sent out of the game by the officials. We're not sure why. It's got to be an equipment issue. Well, I'm looking down there, and they're not doing anything to him. Second and seven from the Trojan nine. Quarterback uh, running off the right side. Bounces free. Touchdown, Williamson. Around the right side. Williamson is in the end zone. They are on the board. Individual effort by the running back there for Williamson. Charles Henderson had him at the line of scrimmage. Benton Dunn had his hands on him. Two other ones had his hands on him, but they were unable to stop him, and it's a touchdown for the Williamson Lions around the right side. 20 to 14 now, extra point pending. They'll probably go for two. Yeah. Neil, I tell you, it just, it just looks like Williamson wants it more right now. I right mean, now, they... yeah. And uh, this, was, this drive was sponsored by the uh, fumble by the Trojans. They put them in good field position right here. Burks, number 34, checking in for the Trojans. If you, if you turn the ball over five times, sooner or later, the other team's gonna get points out of it. Yeah. Two point conversion here, folks. Huge stop here. Quarterback keeper, it's good. Mario Davenport tried to knock it out of the air. 
Williamson gets the two-point conversion. Trojans lead 20 to 16. We'll be back to the All-Star Collision Game of the Week. Sponsored by C Spire and Troy Cable. Hang on, folks. We got a good fourth quarter. Luke. 20 to 16 now. The Trojans lead by four. Neil, fourth like I said, fourth, fourth quarter action, Wally. I tell you, man, like I said, the Williamson looks like they want this, baby. I mean, this. Pooch kick. Trojans take it. Nowhere to go. But great field position after the pooch kick. Trojans will have it at the 39. Tell you what, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I would love to see just a drive from here all the way to the goal line and just eat that clock up. Yeah. That's my, yeah, you know, that's what, that's what I want. That's what, that's my wish. I got a <laughs> wish, can I? Yeah, you can wish. Yeah. 20 to 16, Trojans ahead by four. Boyd at the bottom. Boyd at the bottom of your screen. Parker throws it. Cummings, good for two yards in the slot. Khalil Cummings with the reception. I tell you, it's kind of like our old coach, Coach Hogan, man. You should tell us it's gut check time now, gut buddy. I mean, time. it is. This, this is a crucial series for Charles Henderson. Power run looking formation from the Trojans. Frazier in the backfield. He gets it straight ahead. Nice job by that Williamson front. Not letting Frazier get loose. Big third, third and down. Four. Third and four for the Trojans. Clock is moving. Coming around the eight minute mark. Power running formation again. Toss sweep to the left. This is Boyd. He's racing to the sidelines. He will not get his first down. Neil, this is it here. Are you going to go for it or? Oh, you got a punt, Wally. One yard gain by Boyd. Nick Pearson in to punt it away for the Trojans. I'm going to say it. Williamson has all the momentum in this football game right now. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, this might be a good chance for a fake field goal or a fake punt. I mean, but I don't. Oh, I think we got him, baby. I think we got him. Did we get Williamson to encroach? Yes, sir. I think we did. Yes, sir. That'll be a free first down for the Trojans. And Williamson. When I tell you that's what the doctor ordered, baby, that we needed it. Free first down for the Trojans as Williamson Lions jumped in the neutral zone on the uh, shift from the Trojans punting unit. Seven minutes left in the contest. Seven minutes. Trojans got the ball back with nine minutes. They got it down to 6.55. Adams looking to throw deep down the left side. Underthrown again. That's a few that Parker has underthrown here tonight. Man. I don't know. It's just uh, maybe he don't quite have the zing on it tonight that he's been having. Second and 10, and that stops the clock. Second and 10, and the clock has stopped. Double coverage down that left side on Boyd. They had two guys on him that time. 20 to 16 is your score. 648 left fourth quarter. Trojans at midfield with the ball, second and 10. You know, I like that play call on that last one. This is number 20, Frazier, right up the middle. Good for three. It's going to be third and seven for the Trojans. I tell you, Neil, on this next play, I kind of like a Will Templin play. 
I know they're going to be reading um, yeah. Mosley and Boyd. Yeah. You see uh, Jawan Boyd at the bottom of your screen. Stephon Mosley at the top. Khalil Cummings on the slot. Will Templin at the right, tied in. This is Frazier, number 20, off the right hip of quarterback Parker Adams. Third and seven, Trojans. Throw it out. Oh, my goodness. He tried to squeeze it into Jawan Boyd, who was covered well. And the ball falls incomplete. Fourth and seven, Trojans. Fourth and seven, Trojans. And uh, what, what looked to be a... Uh, what looked to be a good clock churning drive turned into a couple of incomplete passes which stopped the clock. Yeah. And now the Trojans will have to punt it away. Well, this is where Nick Pearson can really do some damage here, Neil. Yeah, I'd like to see if he him can... punt this ball way over here to the right where nobody can catch it. That's what I'd like to see. Way over here to the right where nobody is. And we punt it to we punt it right to him. Dad gummit. We punt it right to him. And uh, I don't know. He got it on the. Uh, he fielded it on the 11 and got it out past the 25. I, I just wouldn't have kicked it to him. Nah. We kicked it straight to him. <laughs> Wally, here's the scene. Fourth quarter, 5A playoff action. Charles Anderson leads by four with five minutes and 45 seconds left. How will this unfold? Well, the defense is going to have to play the game of their life right here on this next possession that Williamson has because they got the momentum, like we said. Yeah. And um, we can't have penalties. We got to play Charles Henderson football right here, Neil. First and 10, Williamson. Quick pass out here. And they make that look so easy. That's the fourth time they've ran that play yeah. and we ain't tackled him yet. And now the clock is going to be an issue for Williamson. Oh, they got five and a half minutes. And both teams have all three of their timeouts. Six yard gainer on that play. A Trojan never hit him, he just ran out of bounds. Quarterback keeper, Hart, Hart hits him in the ankles. 533, holding against Williamson is the call. Holding against Williamson is the call. That'll back him up. Replay second down, but it'll back him up. Yep. They'll, re they'll replay second down. It's going to be... Yeah, right around the second and 15 with 5.33 left on the clock. Second and 15, 5.33 left on the clock. Trojans needing a big defensive stand here to preserve the win in this first round action against 5A Williamson. How will this unfold here tonight, this last five minutes? Swing pass out to the right. Hart runs him down after about a five-yard gain. And a, another penalty. Another penalty uh, way around the right side. What looks to be either a face mask or a late hit against the Trojans. Let's wait and see how it unfolds against the Trojans right there. 5-11 left fourth quarter with penalties on the field. Personal foul. Face mask against the Trojans. And... Uh, Again, Wally, the, it's our it's our identity. It's our identity. We we gather penalties. That's what we do. Yeah. Well, we got 16 on the night for 135 yards. Yep. 511 on the clock. First down yardage after the personal foul face mask by Damian Hart. Trojan defense needs to stand strong here to preserve this win. Running back has it. Good hit by Hart in the middle.
Or maybe that's Quay Scott, zero with the hit. Excuse me, folks. Yeah, these numbers again are I can't tough see. to I mean, see. This, I can't see them. Clock moving, second and seven. Same play. Quay Scott again. Another flag on the play. Another flag on the play. Right in the middle, thrown by the umpire. 440 left on the clock. Let's see how this sorts out. Holding is the call against Williamson. That'll back him up again. Two huge holding penalties against Williamson here, but we help him out with a face mask. So who's going to be the most penalized team yeah. in this drive? It's bowling down the penalty. <laughs> yes. Second and 14 after the penalty. 440. Now the clock is starting to become an issue. Second and 14. Trojans rush four. They finally get a little pressure. Quarterback's loose. He's loose. He gets hit right about midfield. Close to first down yardage. Close to first down yardage, but he'll be a yard short. It'll be third and one. Clock moving down around a four minute mark. Four minute mark. Third and one. That was just had him bottled up for a sack. Yeah, a man, and uh, just a, a good tackle by Damien because if he hadn't got him, he'd have had another 10 to 15 yards. Oh, yeah. Running back right up the middle. He has his first down at the Trojan, 45. That'll move the chains. First down, Williamson at the Charles Henderson 45-yard lines. 340, 339, 338, 337. Clock is moving, folks. Quick pass out to the right. He's wide. He drops it. He drops it. Thank goodness. Oof. Incomplete. It'll bring up second and 10. Right in the bread basket. He just right in, in, just dropped. And that's probably the first one he's dropped all night on that little swing pass. That stops the clock at 3.23, 3.23. Trojan defense needs to stand strong. Ball at the Trojan 45-yard line. Charles Anderson leads by four, 20 to 16. So Williamson will have to score a touchdown, not a field goal. Swing pass out to the right. He's got his man out of bounds. No gain on the play. He just runs out of yeah. bounds at about the 45-yard line. 317 left on the clock. Well, Neil, being third down with three minutes and 17 seconds, you know this is going to have to be two down territory oh, no for him. I mean, four down yeah, territory yeah, yeah, for yeah. him. Third and 10. Third and 10. Clock stopped on the uh, out of bounds play. James Barrow yells, get loud for the Trojans. I'm trying to get loud up here, man. I'm, try, I'm trying to get pumped up. 317, fourth quarter. Trojans lead by four. Third and 10 Lions. Coming down to a good nail biting finish. Timeout on the field. Williamson calls timeout. This all-star collision game of the week. Charles Anderson leads 20 to 16 with 317 left in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this timeout. Third and 10, 317 left, fourth quarter. Charles Anderson nursing a four-point lead. 20 to 16. Straight drop for the Williamson Lions. Grady looking. Oh, oh my lord! Zion yes, sir! Grady! Yes, sir! Zion Grady, number six, with a humongous sack of the quarterback. And Wally, the clock will run. The and clock will run under three now. And under that's three. what you call a four-star athlete right there, baby. Under three minutes. Under three minutes now. Clock is running. Fourth and 22. Fourth and 22 for the Lions. What a gigantic sack Woo, by man. Zion Grady, the four-star athlete on the corner, rushing for the Trojans, number six. All right, do we have a trick play here? You know, Fourth, they, and 22, fourth and 22. Here come the pass, throwing it deep. 
It's just a Hail Mary down the side. In call. Pass interference will be the call down around the seven yard line. Mario Davenport had the ball knocked away. There was, there was no reason for pass interference to happen. Mario Davenport had the ball knocked away. It will be the call. But let me tell you something right here, Wally. You ready? Yeah. This is big. Listen. On fourth and 22, the pass interference does not give enough yardage for the first down. Yeah. So it, it'll be, they'll replay the down. It'll still be fourth down. It will not be a first down. I'm glad you told me that, Neil, because now my heart can start back pumping fourth again. Fourth and seven. Fourth and seven. Pass interference is not an automatic first down. 226 left in the contest. Again, there was no reason to pass interference on the play. Mario Davenport had it played perfectly. He had the ball. No reason for the corner to interfere, but it did. That's why they pay you the big bucks. That's <laughs> Timeout Williamson. 226 left. Fourth and seven. 20 to 16, Charles Henderson. The All-Star Collision Game of the Week coming down as a nail-biter here in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back for this fourth down play. Fourth and seven, 226 left coming out of the timeout from Williamson. Fourth and seven, ball game on the line for the Lions. Trojans need a big stop. Trojans look to be rushing three. They bring four. Here comes pressure. Here yes, comes pressure. sir! The Trojans yes, get it sir! Down. It'll be over on downs to the Trojans. And the Trojans will take over with 2.20 left. Big sack by that defensive line for the Trojans. What a big sack. And the Trojans will take over in Lion territory first and 10. Wow, man, that was huge, Neil Armstrong. Trojans only rushed four, but that's all they needed. Let's get this uh, clock on zero, boys. <laughs> They got one timeout in their bag. Boyd is in the backfield at, at tailback, number two. That's who they're going to hand it to, Jawan Boyd. Ball security, Jawan. Yes, Ball sir. Security. Ball, stay in bounds. Stay, stay in down. Bounds. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Nice job. Very, very smart by Jawan Boyd. First down yardage around the right side. And he stayed in bounds. Smart play by number two, Jawan Boyd. Clock moving under two. Under two minutes in the game, clock is moving. Trojans lead 20 to 16. Milking a four point lead. Neil, I would just snap this ball on a half a second. Half a second. <laughs> yeah, there's Potter. We just snap it on one. Man. Trojans taking all the time in the world. Jawan Boyd still at tailback behind Parker Adams. 135 left in this all-star collision game of the week on C Spire Troy Cable. Boyd straight ahead. Makes one guy miss. And stays in bounds. <laughs> stays in bounds. Nice job again, Jawan Boyd. It'll be first down at, a, at the 11, and they'll run the clock because he stayed in bounds. Yeah. Great thinking. Man. Williamson's got one timeout in their pocket. When do they use it? Neil, more than likely they're going to use it on this, last, on this next play. Under a minute now. Under a minute. Clock is moving. Trojans don't have to snap it until about the 30-second mark. Williamson takes their last time out with 45 seconds left on the clock. We'll stay live here. Now we'll take a break on this All-Star Collision Game of the Week. We'll be right back for this last 45 seconds. Wally, two victory formations and two knee, two take a knees right here, and we're out of here with we're the We're out of here, yeah. That's what Parker does, he takes a knee. Got to run it to second, second and 14. And uh, 
Well, it looks like we will be playing on the road next week in Tallahassee, Alabama. Tallahassee, Alabama, 5A playoff action round two. Charles Henderson sneaks away with this one. Five turnovers and you win the game. Wow. Five turnovers and you win the game. And 150 yards on 17 penalties. Five turnovers and 17 penalties, and the Trojans are going to get out of here with a 20 to 16 victory over the Williamson Lions. Folks, we appreciate All Star Collision making this happen. C Spire and Troy Cable. We'll see you next Friday night in Tallahassee. Charles Henderson moves on to round two. Any parting shots? Man, just they gave me a heart attack tonight, Neil. <laughs> they gave me a heart attack. But what an uh, ending here tonight. Hey, I know you're watching this uh, on replay, but you catch us Sunday night on Sports Chat with Neil and Wally, and we're going to kind of cover this game and go over the, the goods and the bads. That's right. Sports Chat with Neil and Wally every Sunday night, 6 o'clock. Check it out. Until Friday night, we'll see you later. We're out. See, see ya. ya.